Brian undertook one of the most spectacular performance within the first quarter of the year at the Powerlifting American Nationals in February, where in which the athlete not only achieved an IPF unratified world record total of 713.5 kilograms, but also an unratified world record deadlift of 318.5 kilograms, which equates to lifting almost five times his body weight of 65.4 kilograms whilst competing at the Nationals, in turn beating Marichev's prior world record deadlift of 305 kilograms by a margin of 4.43%, which is subsequently the fifth highest margin since 2019, and then absolute silence. Since winning the national championships, the 66 kilograms powerlifting American national champion has remained fairly out of the public eye. However, on the 23rd of May, he wrote on his Instagram page, quote, Hello, I am alive and well. Finally climbed the mountain again after weeks of being sick, feeling beat and detrained. We are finally back to where we need to be on all three lifts. Unquote. With an announcement of incurred illness and lack of training relatively adds a degree of uncertainty whether the world leading athlete will be physically capable in battling the likes of last year's IPF World Bronze Medalist Japan's Kyoto, who is entering the championships with a marginally close total of 712.5 kilograms, and Thailand's Kasem Sand, who is further entering with a total of 710.5 kilograms. In the hope of defending his world title, it is not being made public. The reason for last year's world champion, Eddie, not being nominated for IPF Worlds, even though he has both the world title and a total of 710 kilograms. If anyone is privy to the reason or reasons for his absence for the upcoming world championships, kindly leave a comment. Brian has a slim average lead advantage of 0.28%, which is in fact, comparatively, the lowest within the last five championships, which overall averages at 3.20% which means the front runner is 2.92% below the historical average percentile lead advantage, in turn highly suggestive of quite a tight competition. Even though post-competition the average percentile lead advantage extends to a further 0.62% and or 3.82% as a whole, nonetheless Brian's lead advantage would still surmount to a theoretical 0.9% lead advantage, which remains below the historical post-competition lead advantage by a similar percentile of negative 2.92%. Independently, Brian's primary competition advantage seemingly lies in his inherent deadlift aptitude, which stands at 6.16% and or 18.5 kg above both Kyoto's and Kasem San's PR deadlift of 300 kilograms, alongside a year-on-year -year average progression of 3.83% with a median of 3.55%, which, at least on paper, linearly, could either surmount to a mind-blowing 329.81 to 330.7 kilograms PR deadlift for the athlete. Evidently, Within a 12 months or 1 year span in 2022, Brian experienced a 1 year deadlift progression of 2.07% with an added median of 1.74%. Therefore, some may arguably consider a 324 to 325 kg deadlift as being more feasible. The question still remains whether an high deadlift aptitude is enough to rely upon in gaining the world title. Comparatively, Thailand's Kasem San has an higher squat amount of 255.5 kilograms, which is 10.5 kilograms above both Japan's Kyoto and Brian's current PR squat of 245 kilograms. Also, 
accounting for the third favorite year on year average squad progression, which stands at 2.91%, with an added median of 1.08%, could in fact equate to a theoretical 258.26 to 262.94 kilograms. The closest challenge to the athlete is Kyoto, who has the highest year on year average squad progression of 5.6% with a median of 3.23%. Hence, Kyoto could potentially undertake a squat of 252.91 to 258.62 kg, whilst Brian's historical year-on-year -year average squat progression stands at 3.57% with a median of 4.88%, which means a potential of 253.74 to 256.96 kilograms, which is between 4.52 to 5.98 kilograms below Kasem San's highlighted potential squat, including 4.08% and or 10 kilograms below Kasem San's 255.5 kilograms PR squat. Furthermore, if accounting for post championships, individual disciplines average rate of progression over a five-year period between 2017 to 2022 is apparent that both bench press and squat on average experiences a higher increment or higher reliance. For example, squats increased by 1.08% whilst both bench press stood at 1.62% and deadlift at 0.25%. However, in most circumstances, there are exceptions. For example, in 2019, both silver medalist Ting Song Tin bench press increased by 9.38% and deadlift by 8%, and bronze medalist Sergey, whose deadlift increased by 5.66%, well above the stated five year deadlift group average of 0.25%. Subsequently, if the 5-year averages are stated earlier, Brian could result with a total of 729.49 kg. Kyoto at 723.64 kg and Kasem Sand at 716.52 kg. Another perspective would be to account for the year-on-year -year average progression for individual squat, bench press and deadlift, which could indeed surmount to a theoretical 747.17 to 753.28 kg total for Brian, 729.83 to 745.65 kg for second favorite Kyoto and 726.1 to 731.44 kg total for Kasem Sand. Furthermore, it's also worth keeping in mind of the athletes' respective totals, year-on-year -year average progression, which could potentially equate to between 735.26 to 741.4 kg total for Brian, 731.31 to 741.07 kg for Kyoto, and 712.7 to 730.75 kg for Kasem Sand. Ultimately, taking everything in account, such as the 5-year averages, year-on-year -year averages for both totals and individual disciplines, reckoning for both the bottom and top end, a total between 729.49 to 753.28 kg is seemingly feasible for the front runner. 723.64 to 745.65 kg for Kyoto and for Kasem Sand between 716.52 to 731.44 kg. Hence, what these theoretical totals partly imply is that the potential for any of the three athletes in winning the IPF world title is quite viable, considering their performance will be a determined factor in whether they received an invite to Sheffield 2024. In turn, we may in fact bear witness to unimaginable world record or world records be broken as a three battle for both the gold medal 
and world title. Anyway, kindly leave your comments below and share your thoughts. Blessed love everyone.